Hi everyone. This is the first in a short series of videos looking at the workflow options available within the forms service. In this video, I will introduce the concept and show examples of how and where workflows can be used. The workflow functionality is, in my mind, the most important change that we've seen to the form service. It adds another dimension to forms and issues that permeates through 2D and 3D design review and back into the design applications. In any of these interfaces, the user can now control and manage their issues workflow state as well as the content of the issue. This gives huge benefit within the design review process by improving digital collaboration, especially useful when we're not all in the office together. Let's start at the backstage of the form service. The form types act as the container for the workflow. We can assign a workflow to a type and then every form definition within that type will utilize the defined workflow. So we can have multiple workflows within one project. When we select a type, we will see a button, configure workflow. When we click on this, we'll see a blank page with a note, no workflow defined. Or if there is a workflow defined, you'll see the workflow states and colors. Assuming that we don't already have a workflow, we'll need to import a template or select one from another project. Let's import a template. There are three to choose from. We'll select the basic one and build it out from there. Choose import and we can see the states listed along with some other information. There's a useful button here which shows us the states and transitions graphically. And this updates as we make changes to the workflow. At this point, I need to say that as well as the states that we can see in this list, there's also an initial state. All forms start in this initial state, and this means that a user can open a form instance, start to fill it out, and then cancel it if they need to before it enters into the workflow. So even though we only have two states, open and closed, there's actually a third initial pre-state, if you will. We can change some settings for this here, the settings for which will become clear as we go through the other workflow options. So now we've got this basic workflow in place, let's test it. And when I'm, whenever I'm creating forms, I always leave the dashboard tab open so that I can easily test from a user's point of view. It's important to remember to refresh the page so that it reflects any changes that we've made behind the scenes. Make sure we've got the correct type selected, use the plus button and create a new form instance. So you'll see here at the moment, we can fill out the form and then the only option we have is save or cancel. So cancel will discard the form and save will take it from our initial state into the first stage of our workflow, which is open. Once we do this, the form is open and the only other workflow option is close. This is a simple workflow, which can be used directly from the dashboard or any of the apps that utilize issues such as design review, PDF markup, MicroStation and integrated AutoCAD and Revit. In the next video, we'll look at adding some more workflow states and how to manage transitions to make them work for us.